enzymatic and non-enzymatic browning. Enzymatic browning that occurs when food is peeled or sliced is undesirable. So here's an example of an apple that's undergone enzymatic browning. It is a chemical process that occurs in fruits and vegetables containing the enzyme polyphenol oxidase. Under some conditions, sugars in food can produce brown colours that enhance the appearance and colour of food. The two processes of non-enzymatic browning are caramelization and Maillard browning. So first we look at Maillard browning. The first step in Maillard browning is a condensation reaction between an amino group on an amino acid or protein and a reducing sugar, glucose or lactose. So here we have the first step. This is a reducing sugar. In this case, it is glucose. And here we have an amino group on an amino acid or protein. And we have a condensation reaction losing a molecule of water. So we look at the reactions with lysine and cysteine. First, lysine. So lysine has two amino groups, one here and one here. Therefore, it reacts the fastest and it causes the darker colors. Milk which contains large amounts of lysine, browns readily. And our second example is cysteine. Cysteine has one amino group and a sulfur group here, and it produces the least color of the amino acids. So lysine produces the darkest color and reacts the fastest, and cysteine produces the least color. Although the Maillard reaction improves the color and flavor of food and may have beneficial antioxidant properties, it reduces the nutritional value of foods as amino acids and carbohydrates are lost. Examples of Maillard browning include heating sugar and cream to make toffees, caramels, fudges and milk chocolate. Products of Maillard browning include desirable and undesirable colors. So characteristic golden brown color is desirable and a change in smell and flavor, which is a caramel aroma. So here we have an example of some toffee and this here is fudge. And both of these examples use Maillard browning. And the next example of non-enzymatic browning is caramelization. So foods with high carbohydrate and low nitrogen content can be caramelized. The first step is melting the sugar at temperatures above 120 degrees C. The factors that increase the rate of reaction are acid or base catalyzed at a pH above 9 for a base or below 3 for an acid. Examples include the browning on the top of baked egg dishes. And here's an example of caramelization in a baked egg dish. 